That means I'm a master of all the arts and sciences It says so on the back of my medallion. Yeah. <laughs> Which means I'm also an expert in all foreign languages. Languages! And this, this, despite what Mr. Somali may say, is not Spanish. Because what we think of as Spanish is actually Castilian, which was imposed upon the Iberian Peninsula by Isabel of Castile when she and Ferdinand united the, the uh, Iberian Peninsula. There are, in fact, four, maybe five, uh, separate languages on the peninsula if you include Portuguese, and why would you do that? <laughs> this is, in fact, ancient um, Catalan, which is still spoken in Barcelona. And, uh, and so this, that is the language this is written in. Now, this is difficult to translate because the subject of the poem is never actually said. It is all in poetic form, so you have to take it apart, and I'll, I'll be as fast as I can, but you have to take it apart in order to understand what the metaphor is. So we start with uh, San Narosa Passarelle, uh, which is essentially a parasol, an umbrella. Uh, and, and it's not only an umbrella, it is a San Narosa uh, parasol, which is a big honking uh, umbrella that you use when the sun is roasting hot and you need to block the sun, but it can also be used for something else. Yes? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Now, Pela, uh, si your buri, uh, se adunia. The important words here are buri, part, part, the second part of that word, buri, to burrow, and adunia, a sand dune, to burrow into the sand dune. Keep that in mind. Se <laughs> ascun in ramulorella. Uh, which is to ascend, uh, and Ram, uh, a Ramuel is a, is a, is a very um, uh, figurative word for a male sheep, a ram. A ram uh, keep that in mind. So, Noapte uh, Buna. Everybody who reads the Bible should know this. Noapte uh, is the Spanish for Noah, and Buna is a boat or, or Noah's Ark. Now, if you're educated, you would be getting the gist of this. Right? Right? So keep that in all in mind. Now, Trece la bada pe ape. La bada is, of course, a dance, and trece is to trace, but in this context, to trace the la bada is to step the dance to the la bada, but they're not actually meaning the dance because they add per ape like an ape. Like this, right? As if you were shielding yourself from something, eh? Ah, ah. Now, entre triste sa se cool se. Um, tri entre triste is, is a tricky way of wiggling your way into something like a col se, like in cul de sac, so uh, wiggling your way into a crevasse, eh? No, uh, fai uh, ti ingeri uh, apro ape. Now, fai is, is an English word. Uh, referring to fee fi fo fum so we, got, we know that we got giants uh, in here, it's an English giant, and, and he's ingeri, uh, angrily, um, apro aping, so he's dancing also like an ape, a big ape, apro api, yeah, yeah, you got it? Okay, oh, and uh, some new uh, dolce, which any educated person of course, understands. Now, here is the meaning of the poem. Saying? The meaning of the poem. The meaning of the poem. It's all about rain, because the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain, and because it's a Mediterranean climate, it doesn't rain very often. No, but when it comes, it comes in torrents. So, you have to protect yourself. So, you bring out the big honking parasol, the, the sun-roasting parasol, and uh, you dive, you burrow into the sand dune, and uh, you climb like a ram. Uh, because you see, <laughs> because you see Noah's Ark, metaphorically or figuratively, you see Noah's Ark. Now, you can also, today say, la vara de prape, like, like Daria just demonstrated, shielding yourself from the rain, and you might dive into the crevasse to, to hide from the rain, but in the crevasse is the big giant who is also dancing and saying, that's my crevasse, stay out of here. But luckily, luckily, sam nul dolce, sam nul is to sleep, dolce is sweet, it is all a sweet 